So the last part of Silent Night is looking for the melody. There's a melody. Okay, so to learn the melody notes, we're playing the uh, third finger on the third fret number one string, rolling over to the third fret on number two string. Then we play open number two string, back onto the third fret, down to the first finger on the second on the first fret second string. Second finger, second fret on the third string, open string, open third string. So let's go through that real slowly. So we got our third finger, third fret on the first string, rolling over to the third fret on the second string, followed by the open second string, back on to the third fret second string, down to the first fret second string, over to the second fret on the third string, open string. Again, really slowly. And that's the last part of the melody. Again, as normal, play, rewind, pause, learn the piece, and then come back and let's tackle the chords. So, the chords that go with the final piece Okay, is a G chord to D chord back to a G chord. Okay, now again with the G chord, again I'm using this two finger um, positioning here on the third fret of the first string and the second string, which give me the first two notes of the melody. Okay, so I'm strumming the G chord all the way through to pick up the first note of the melody. Coming back and picking the second string for the second note of the melody. Strummed. Okay. Then we have the open open B string where we take the finger off and play the G chord all the way through to the open B string. We're not playing the top string here, top number one string. So as then we have. Again, slowly. And then we put our two fingers on here for the top of the D chord. Okay, first finger, oh, sorry, second finger on the second fret third string, third finger on the third fret second string. There's the melody note. Okay, and when just strumming the chord one time, picks up the melody note. So let's look at that again. Here's the G chord. Open G string, open B string. Again. Okay. Then we come down to the first finger. And then we have the open G string, which is going to be part of a G chord. So let's do the whole thing again really slowly. So G chord, followed by the second sort of second string, open B string, top of the D chord, down to the first finger, second finger on the second fret, third string, and then we play a G chord, which includes that last note of the open G string. There you have it. That's the whole thing. So Piece it together slowly, work it a piece of time, play, rewind as needed, and any questions we'll talk about in our lessons. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this.